Hello and welcome to Mathematics Made Easier channel. This is your favorite mathematics tutor, Comfort Amwakon Atta. I welcome you all to my class this evening. If today is the very first time of you joining my class, a special welcome goes to you. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please look down there and click on the subscribe button to subscribe. And you also click on the notification bell to receive updates from me all the time. Good. All right, guys. So today we are going to learn how to multiply using the distributive property. Okay. We are going to learn how to multiply using the distributive properties. So guys, go pick your jaw test as you come along with me to learn. Okay, so now let's start. We are going to use this software. First, the first stuff we are going to use is the IXL. IXL, I always tell you the IXL is a math program or well, a math software which help kids to assess their skills in learning. All right, so let's see. So we have multiply using the distributive property. Okay. But you know, we've already treated distributive properties in a previous lesson, right? Okay. So now how do we simplify this expression? This expression, how do we simplify this expression? Anyways, if you have forgotten about a distributive property, just go back to our previous lesson to remind or refresh yourself on that. Okay, so we have three parentheses. In Ghana, we call this bracket. For my US kids, in US, you call it parentheses. So when you see me or when you hear me using the word parenthesis, it means brackets for my Ghanaian students in other countries. All right, so three parentheses, three H plus one. All right, so this means that the three or the number outside the parenthesis will multiply everything inside the parenthesis, right? Good. So now three times the three h will give you nine h plus three again times one will give you us three. So your final answer for this will give you nine h plus three. So let's see whether we are correct. Nine. Sorry. Nine h. Two. Plus three. Oh, that is excellent, guys. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. All right. So let's see this question too. We have three. Then inside the parenthesis, we have two plus 4G. So how do we express this? How do we simplify this expression? Always the number outside the parenthesis or multiply the numbers inside the parenthesis, so plus 4G. So this is three times two, giving us six, plus three times four, which is 12. And we have the G, so 12G. You can't add this again. So this becomes a final answer. Why can't you add it? Because they are not like things. Okay, you can't add banana and mangoes together. You have to sort them out. So they are not like them. This one has no uh, G attached to it. So this is a constant. This is a coefficient in a variable. You can't add them together. So your final answer here will give you 6 plus. 12G. Guys, are you correct? Oh, great job. 
You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. Okay, so let's see the next one. We have four parentheses or brackets, as I said earlier on. 9m plus 1. And you hear me using parentheses. It's the same as brackets. Okay. So 9m plus 1. 9m plus 1. So how do I simplify 9m plus 1? Four parentheses, so four times whatever is inside the parentheses. Four times 9 is 36. M plus 4 times 1 will give you 4. Some kids or some students have been leaving it out. They just multiply the, the number of the parentheses by the first number if you don't multiply it by this one so your answer will be wrong so you need to multiply it by everything inside the parenthesis okay or the brackets so you are going to get 36 m plus 4 brilliant brilliant let's see our smart scores on 36 and uh, 37 Good job. Let's move. Okay, so let's see. We have five J plus one parenthesis closed seven. All right. So this is the same thing. We are using the number seven to multiply everything inside the parenthesis. Okay. So it means that five J will multiply seven. Giving you what 35 J, then plus 7 times 1 will give you 7. So your final answer over here will be 35 J plus. Sorry, uh oh, I just I just pressed on the enter key. Sorry, guys, pardon me. I was pressed on the shift and the equal to sign to get a plus sign. So sorry, so sorry. All right, so let's go. No worry. Let's move. So in IXL, this program, IXL, when you get a question wrong, your smart scores will be reduced. No. Okay, let's go. So we have two parentheses, 4n plus 5, right? So how do you solve this? So this becomes 2 times 4n giving you 8n plus 2 times 5 gives you 10. So your final answer here will be 8n plus 10. Submit. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, let's see. So this should be very easy for you guys to solve it, right? So you are getting... 6 plus 3 times 2 here will give you 6 plus 3 times 7y will give you 21. So 6 plus 21y, right? Guys, did you get this one? Good, good, good. So now let's press our enter key. That is correct. That is correct. All right, let's go. So 3 times 3 gives us what? 9. 9. 9 minus minus 3F. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. This one so is 5 times, negative 5 times 4 will give you negative 20. Right, good. Then negative five times negative j. The negative j without any number in front means there is a silent one in front of the negative j. So this one means negative five times negative one. So that will give you a positive five. So this is leaving us negative 20 
class class j class j all right oh sorry class 5 j class 5 j because it's ne one negative one times negative five given as positive five so class 5j that should give you correct all right let's go we are almost there let's keep going so negative five times two will give you negative 10 then negative five times negative six will give you positive 30 positive 30 then you bring your variable your y so simple guys and it's very simple let's see this we have um three times negative six giving us negative 18 right negative 18 class class 12 d class 12 d because three times four is 12 then your d will come all right let's go we have two times five giving you what ten two times five is ten then two times negative eight will give you negative sixteen so negative sixteen c has a variable attached to the number super super good job guys let's go so two times negative two will give you negative four plus let's say okay negative four q right good plus uh oh sorry i press on the enter key again oh my god i'm so sorry guys forgive me okay let's go three times five is what fifteen then minus minus three x again there's a silence one right behind the uh, right beside the x which makes it three times one giving you three then you bring your x to attach to it good job let's go seven times negative two will give you negative 14 negative 14 j all right that's a variable attached to it plus shift and add okay plus seven times seven will give us what 49 right seven times seven will give you 49 right Okay, let's go. So 49. Okay, 49. All right. Keep it up. Let's go to our snap calls. We are, we've gotten 80 as our snap calls. Let's go. Some few to go. Three times two is what? Six. Minus. Three times nine is what? Three, nine, 27. So 27. G. That should give you a final answer. Good. Let's go. Negative two times negative four will give you negative. Uh, sorry, positive eight. Negative times negative is positive. I taught you using the triangle thing. The triangle thing. How to multiply integers. On top of the church building, we have the base that is the negatives. And on top is a the positive here all right so we have the base as a negative the two negatives and the positive one but i've taught you this i don't have to repeat it because it's going to drag our class back so if you have forgotten about this just go back and refresh yourself so now negative times positive will give you negative positive times negative will give you negative then negative times negative will give you positive all the way up there. This should always guide you when you're multiplying in C chips. All right. So negative two times negative four gave us what positive, the positive up there. Okay. That's why we've got an eight over here with no sign attached to it. Then negative two times four D will give us negative what 8d that is so perfect 
That is so perfect. Good job, guys. We are almost there. 5 m times 7 will give you 35 m. 35 m. Then plus 35 m plus 7 times 1 will give you 7. 7 times 1. It means that you are using the number outside the parentheses to multiply everything inside the parentheses. Again, we are doing multiplication or how to multiply using the distributive property. All right. So this should be give us our final answer. Oh, the challenge zone. This is the challenge zone. Now we've entered it. Sorry, we've entered, we've entered into the challenge zone. And these are decimals. These are decimals. So guys, again. I've also taught you how to multiply decimals, right? How to multiply decimals. So we are going to multiply 0 0.5 by 0 0.3. I didn't bring the, the negative because I know you should know that this will give you what a positive answer. 0 0.15. Minus minus zero point five, sorry, zero point five times zero point five times zero point four should also give you zero point two, right? So this is minus zero point two Q. My correct 0 0.5 times 0 0.4 should give you just 0 0.2. It should be okay. All right. So sorry, guys. So so we have the expression 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 times negative 0 0.3 plus negative 0 0.5 times negative 0 0.4. So when you multiply these ones. The negative and the negative attached to the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.3 should give you positive answer. Then the negative attached to the negative, negative 0 0.5 times 0 0.4 should give you a negative answer as negative 0 0.2 Q. So this should give you a final answer. I hope we are correct. Ooh I think we have two more to go also. So let's see. Sorry guys. Hmm. I just got a little a slight code. Yes, pardon me, okay? <laughs> so 1.1, 1 .1, let me see, 1.1 1 .1 times 7. I believe it's 7.7. .7. All right. So, 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 we have 7.7 .7 over here, 7.7 .7 minus 7.7c. .7 you should be able to get this correct too. Wonderful, guys. One more, the last one to go. Oh, guys, okay, so I'll give you this as your homework, a try work for you. So just simplify 1.5 times 1.1 minus 3F minus 3F in parentheses. 1.5 parentheses 1.1 minus 3F. So don't forget, you use a number outside the parentheses to multiply everything inside the parentheses. That should give you, and don't forget your negatives. Negatives in mathematics is very important. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. I think, let me see whether, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see this, hold on. Okay. All right, I want us to experience the 
the hundreds code. So let's see this. So 1.5, I'm sure I'm helping you with this one. I'll give you an, an assignment. 1.5 times 1.1 will give you 1.65, right? Minus 1.1 times 3, 4.5F. So let's see whether we're going to hit a hundred score. Good job. You made it. Good job. IXL is so wonderful, you know, and it helps kids to assess their math skills. I, I use so many softwares when I'm teaching mathematics. I use a lot of games, a lot of activities, a lot of hands-on activities. Even for this multiplication, I in my previous lesson I used some manipulatives to teach multiplication. And it was so interesting. It was so so interesting. I used the ones and the tens block to teach multiplication. Right. That was so interesting. So if you want tutorials or not, just go to my my YouTube channel with the name Mathematics Made Easier. Or you can search with my name, Comfort and Welcome at that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your time and attention. I believe this tutorial was helpful. If it was, don't forget to give my thumbs up down there. And don't forget to share the links to your friends as well. So we meet again. Please stay safe and learn hard. Bye. Okay.